episode two. Well, it's just the same old bollocks, really. Although this one does contain a very dangerous stunt. Nobody was injured. to find faults of my bodily functions. I can find several faults of your bodily functions. One of which being the inability to read maps properly. Are you calling me retarded, Big Beat? Will you stop using my surname as a form of address? It's Christopher! Christopher H. <laughs> um. You need anger management classes, Big Beat. Christopher! Now, read the map. How far away from the location? Um... Um... Ah! What? You found him? Yes! Uh, I lost that in 1934! If you concentrated less on your repulsive excuse for a human stomach, and actually focused on the task on hand, you might actually be able to get some work done. <laughs> I'm in a perfect state of mind, B. Oh, uh, Christopher, I know exactly where we're going. Well, if you could kindly give me the directions. He was 100 yards back that way. <laughs> right, B. Turn it. Get that. I'm turning it, Terrence. Terrence, I can't turn it anymore. Right, this way. Come on. Head there. Come on. Make of my fascinating script. Ah. Ah? Is that all? Months and months of talented script writing, and the only feedback I get from my contributors is Ah! No, no, you misunderstand, Mr. Holmes. Misunderstand? I think I understand perfectly, thank you. Robert. They love your script. Oh, the dears, the dears. I knew they'd be overwhelmed with my original and extraordinary talent. I mean, look at this face. It's gleaming with confidence and self-consciousness. The problem is, they need to go through the script editing process. Editing? Script? Editing? How dare they? My scripts are universally praised and sought after by over 1,000 companies and they're asking me to personally slice, dice and splice my precious works of art! When if that's the way you want to put it, then... Yes. The bastards! No, no, Mr. Holmes. You, you know that this is a perfectly common and natural process that all scripts take before they hit the television screens. <laughs> Oh. 
about going on a diet, Terence? Well, I've thought about it, yes. That's as far as it went. I suppose that was one hell of a struggle in itself. Now, come on, get up. There's no time for a rest, beat me. We got work to do. But, but you're on the. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Where are you going, Homo Big Mead? I never gave you permission to leave me on my own. I'm going to do my job. And if you're so passionate about getting Doctor Who on the television by March, then I suggest you at least get off your fat rear end and come with me on this location, Recky. OK? Style, but every little helps. Good grief, he's got more money than Terence. If I stayed with him long enough, I could be rich. I've got it! I'm a genius. What's that, Mr. Holmes? A simple solution to our, my predicament. I create a pseudonym, a made up name, and I pretend that they are my script editor. Done for those BBC bastards! meant to proceed in my career if you are continually going to shatter my dreams and expectations! Sir, I'm just saying that... I will not have my beautiful office polluted with dream shatterers and conspirers. Get out! Conspirers? <laughs> Sir, I was not conspiring against you! Enough of these strange words you speak! Go back to pot belly pig dicks! Why? I could be my own secretary, as well as writer and script editor. I could be an entire production team. Now that is original! I could do it. I could mock the BBC for all their pride. But then, who would ever listen to Robert Peaceful out here. Perfect for episode triple A. Now, we could use this spot to film the opening sequence, the establishing shots, and and the rest of Havoc's section sequences. Oh, that would work perfectly in the edit. No. 
now. I think if we... Christopher H. bit me to attack me. He mugged me and left me for dead. Burn, bit me, burn. Burn, Christopher, bit me. Burn, bit me, burn. Burn, Christopher, bit me. Burn, bit me, burn. Burn, Christopher, bit me. commotion earlier. Oh, the, there was a man over there with the same distinct and charming voice as myself. He was shouting. Oh, you appear to have gone now. Terrence! You forget. You're stuck down there without any physical help. I could quite easily just go back home and leave you up here. You wouldn't be so heartless, Bidmead. You forget we got a job to do, remember? We doesn't come into it. I was assigned to do the location recce, not you. And I've completed it. The big meat! Call me by my surname once more, and I'll leave you up here and never return. Any respectable citizen of Great Britain should be doing. Helping someone in need. Bit me! Unhand me, sir! be silent. I'm trying to think of a logical way out of this situation. Well, I'm glad you agree that that last idea of yours was illogical and shit. I'm still on the bloody floor. No wonder you never became a scientist. No one would have you. Shut up! The boy who, after P.E., would spy on the boy's dangly bits in the boy's changing rooms. I'm warning you, Terence. A man, man, that is so earth-shatteringly ugly that the only girlfriend he had looked like a cross between Frankenstein and a Yeti's arse. Right. You've asked for it. No, I didn't.
Were you not killed? I'll bid need. I am Terence Dix. Sweet, beautiful car! Ruined. Thank goodness. How on earth did this happen? Terence. How could Terence turn a car upside down in the middle of a field? No time to explain. Can you give me a lift back to Television Centre? I need to be there within the hour. Of course, my car's just down the road. God, you're a lifesaver. I love you. the saying, revenge is sweet. Yeah. Well, that's precisely what I want to fulfill. My revenge on Terence. I have a small job for you, Miss Hartigan. Come with me. Bidmead. Time to put our plan into action. Where shall I take him? There's a train to Bronsgrove that leaves at 5.50 precisely. Make sure Terence is on it. With no money and no sense of direction, it'd be a long time until we see his fat, grimy self again. Understood, Bidmead. Over and out.
Did you dispose of him as I requested? Yes. 550 to Bromsgrove. Ah. Then, you finally got rid of, of Terence Dakes. It appears so. We got rid of terrorists! We got rid of terrorists! We got rid of terrorists! We got rid of... having to work with that thing. I'm finally free. I couldn't have done it without you, Miss Hartigan. It was my pleasure. He deserved every bit of his punishment. Well, here's to the future. The, the end, end of Terrence Sticks. That means we'll annoy the off. Can't get up. Thank you.